and welcome back to another review video. This one is for a lip stain by the brand Aurora for all lip lovers, which apparently they do more than just lip products. Uh, they apparently also do eyeliners, which I only know because one came in my mom's ipsy bag this month, so apparently they do other stuff. And again, I probably should have looked up the pricing of this, but I will have to stop while it dries down after I put it on, so I'll probably go look it up while I do that. But, um, it's an interesting kind of a product, I have to admit, and I've gotten two of them now. I've gotten one in the salmon-y color, I got one in a pink color, but this felt more autumnal, so it's what I'm wearing today, or it will be wearing. It's, it's an interesting kind of tip, I have to admit. You can see it's kind of shaped like a butt plug, not gonna lie. Um, but the more interesting thing to me about this is on the side here, it claims to have a duo tip. And from this little diagram, it would make it look as though it spins around. But uh, it, it does not turn, it does not flip, it does absolutely fuck all. Um, allegedly, you could pull this out and turn it around, maybe, if you don't break it, but um, I am personally not that freaking brave, and I'm kind of convinced I will break the thing if I try that, so I think I am personally just gonna leave this the hell alone, the way it is, and use it as is in hope like hell that I don't break it. Also, I'm terrified if I pull that out and don't break it, it'll just leak everywhere, so again, I'm just gonna leave it the hell how it is, since they kind of lied about how that works, so <laughs> there's that. At least it has a pointy tip even with this, so I mean, I should be able to work with it, it just, it's kind of a lying sort of a thing, just throwing that out there. Kind of like their whole perfume-free thing, even though it smells just like cinnamon. So I don't know if there's actual cinnamon in it. If it has cinnamon oil, it may burn your lips. I guess we'll find out when I put it on, or if that's artificial, then they lied about there being no perfume. Just saying. Cost six months after opening. It does not have a long shelf life. Aurora Cosmetics New York dot com or NY com, I guess. <clears throat> there is 0.03 fluid ounces in it. It's made in Germany, distributed in New York. It's water-based, alcohol-free, paraben-free, perfume-free, 24-hour, lively lip stain. Mildly terrified right now. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put this on after swatching it on my hand and probably staining the crap out of it. I'll just do one little, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it looks like that. I'm probably gonna regret having done that now, but... I just did one spot, so whatever. Okay, and this is a very bendy, flexy tip on it. Just throwing that out there. It's very spongy. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm coloring with a Crayola. Who who watched that uh, story time I did? It totally feels exactly like that. Oh, sweet Jesus. So far, I feel like I've made a huge mistake. And anything I, or anytime I put on something colored, you're always like, line them first, then fill, and then I never do, because I'm an idiot. I'll try on that side. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Mm, uh -uh, uh -uh. I was better off my way. Uh -uh. Can I, uh... Uh-oh. Okay, okay, I salvaged it. We'll be okay. But I'll be more careful. <laughs> 
Something like that. Oh boy. I did not do a good job. Big surprise. I feel like Heath Ledger in a Batman. <laughs> Why so serious? I just need to make the Glasgow smile now. <laughs> oh Jesus, what did I do? I'm going with like little feather touches at this point, so. On one hand, I'm in love with how red this is. I thought it was gonna be coral, but, uh, it's like Liza Minnelli red, and I'm digging that, but, uh, however, I'm jacking it up left and right. <laughs> There's absolutely a learning curve with this shit, oh my god. Oh boy. From a distance, not bad. Up close, it's a train wreck. Kind of a shit show. I should really stop making it worse, honestly. Oh joy. Yeah, this is uh not magical. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe as fixed uh, fixed as it's gonna get. Again, I adore the color, but the actual application of this stuff is a friggin' nightmare. <laughs> okay, let's do a blot. One more application, another block, at least to the middles. Still a lot of transfer. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little bit. Hopefully it'll dry down. Um, they feel very dry right now because it's got, I think, a little bit of power from this, but um, I guess we'll see. I highly doubt this is gonna last 24 hours if it's transferring that bad just right now, but um, I'll give it a little time. We'll see how it does. And, uh, 
that made absolutely no difference. Okay, well, I'll be back. Okay, so as you can tell, I added a little bit of eye makeup to try and balance out just how bright this is, because this... This is not coral! This is not coral! This is red, which I mean, thank god I'd like it, because I'd be really pissed off if I was expecting this color, and uh, you know, this is uh, not really... Well, I guess seeing it next to it, it's not that far off, but I mean, it is way more red than that looks. That's more pinky than reddy, you know? Just... Just saying. Just saying. Thank god for me, it's Liza Red. It's also Judy Garland Red. Either one. I stopped at doing the eyeliner on just the tops because I was like, actually, you know, I could do the Judy look today, I don't mind. Uh, if I wrapped it around the bottoms, then it'd be lies. Like, oh, well, whatever, I'm not cosplaying. I'm just trying to balance this makeup because <laughs> it's a lot brighter than I bargained for, but that's okay. It's okay. But uh, one thing I did notice, look, it's not transferring to my teeth. With a red, that's practically unheard of. You guys know. You know, if you've ever worn a red lip product, be it lip gloss, lipstick, lip stains usually, just anything, anything at all, lip pencil, lip crayon, anything, it always comes off on your teeth. <laughs> and it looks terrible, you usually have no idea it's happened until somebody points it out and then you're all embarrassed and just, ugh, it's terrible. I've been checking this, like, obsessively, and it's not doing it, which is great, especially because red automatically makes your teeth look whiter than they are. I mean, mine aren't terrible, but then again, they're caps, so they're not gonna be terrible. But, um, just saying. No secrets here, you guys know. You guys, and these aren't mine. I mean, there's one in the back that's mine. The rest are not mine. But, um, anyway. Um, it's not coral, but I'm actually very pleased with the color it is. Just, it's not true to what it claims, uh, which does make me nervous about potentially buying any products from them, because if this is what this looks like compared to the tube, how am I supposed to trust any of their colors don't look anything like what they're claiming? Uh, because, I mean, incidentally, when I thought I had a pink and a coral, I was like, well, I'd like to buy a red. I'm like, well, apparently I don't have to. I got one. But um, It'd be nice to have a slightly deeper, more bluey red too, just to have some options, um, but this is good, this is definitely good, I don't mind it, I like this, um, but just saying, some of the other options they have up are good, I went to their website, in between the two videos, and this apparently is eight dollars, that's not bad, I would actually be willing to buy more of these for eight dollars, uh, the only thing I'm not liking is that it does still transfer, no matter how many times I blot on a tissue, it continues to transfer, not super badly, little bit, not super bad, but um, anytime I forget myself and I touch my face to my mouth, or my hand to my mouth, it comes off on my hand, I'm like, oh. But I mean, it doesn't seem to budge visibly from my mouth. This has been about an hour, mostly because I got distracted and forgot to come back and do the other half of the video. But um, you can tell it hasn't faded or anything. Whether or not it's gonna last 24 hours, remains to be seen. I highly doubt it. I haven't tried drinking anything yet. That'll be the kiss of death right there. If it starts to fade from that, then there's no way it'll last 24 hours, especially not with me, Little Miss Perpetual, eating and drinking things all the time, so that just, it won't work. Um, my lips do feel a bit dry, but not super dry, like a lot of lip stains and liquid lipsticks tend to leave them feeling, so I mean, this is okay. This is a tolerable level. I don't mind this. Um, but, I mean, it'd be nice if it stayed 100% put, but, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. It still does better than a lot of the competition, so. You can tell there's a little bit of transfer. It's not awful, but there is some transfer. Just so you know, uh, if you're gonna be making out with anybody, it's, it's gonna be leaving some transfers. Uh, also, it does stain. Remember where I swatched? I have washed my hands at least a dozen times now. That is no exaggeration. That's how hard I've been trying to get this off. And, uh, it's still that dark. Thank God I didn't do my usual swipe across the hand. I'd be so pissed off right now. Um, somehow I instinctively knew to just do a dot with this. I don't know how I knew, but I knew. <laughs> uh, I should have followed my first instinct and gone and washed it off immediately after swatching. But I wanted to just get this recorded and done for you guys, but, uh... So that happened, and now I'm stuck with it. So I guess, uh, even though it's way paler than what's on the mouth, 
it uh, probably will be some kind of indicator as to staying power. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, it's obviously faded down, but uh, there's still quite a bit there. So I am going to go ahead and do the drink test. I've got some coffee here. I'm sure it'll come off on the cup, but the bigger question will be, do we notice a difference in the color on the mouth? That is what remains to be seen. So we're going to find out. Ew, that was gross. I'm sorry. Now, when it gets wet, that's generally when it's going to start transferring. So, hmm. I don't feel like this was the fairest drink test I've ever done. But, uh, so far, visually, aesthetically, still there. Hmm. Actually, looking at the edge of my cup, I'm surprised at how little came off on there. Then again, I did it all without moving my mouth off the cup, so let's, uh, let's find out. A little more came off, but not much. I'm actually kind of impressed, not gonna lie. Just saying, just saying. You guys have been telling me, apparently what I want whenever I do liquid lipsticks, apparently what I really want is a lip stain. You may be right. You may be right. If more of them behave like this, it'd be better if it stayed 100% put. But I mean, so far, this does not seem to be disappearing. That is good news for me. The bigger question would be, can I drink alcohol with this on without it budging? I'm not testing that since it's only like 11 in the morning, but um, I am curious. I am curious to see how it would hold up to that. Especially as this is water-based, not alcohol-based. I'm really curious to see just how well it would stay. Let's see if it transfers more, though, since it's wet. Oh, yeah, that. So that's a thing. Okay, but, um, still, it doesn't look like it's fading, though. That is major. I mean, I know... My own user error here and that I didn't apply it the best. It's messy. But I mean, that's that's on me. That's not on them. So, um, I'm actually very impressed with this. Not gonna lie. I am more impressed with it than I thought I was gonna be. Even though it's not the color that they claimed it was gonna be. So, I mean, one point off for that. And one off for the transferring. But I've seen way worse transferring. This is actually one of the better ones that I've done. And the fact that I can apparently drink things without this disappearing, that's major. That's freaking major for me. Because if it's going to disappear while I drink it, basically I'm not going to bother wearing it because it's just going to come off anyway. Um, I'm very impressed. And the price point is not bad. It is on par with most like drugstore lipsticks, about eight bucks. That, you know, that's what you're going to find them for. So I'm actually... I would, I would buy more of these. I would. I'm considering it. If they all behave like this, I mean, I'll review the pink one too. If it behaves like this one, I am totally down to buy more of these because I am very impressed with how it's doing. Um, I'm trying to think, was there anything else I disliked about it? Oh, the, the lying claim about the tip. Okay, fine. Case in point. Um, I mean, granted... Maybe if I dared try to pull it out, maybe it would do the thing, but, um, just saying, just saying, I'm trying to tell, is that pink on my teeth from drinking it? I, I think I imagined it, but, um, maybe I'll just dock half a point there, because maybe it does work, I'm just not brave enough to do it, but the way they illustrate it, it's very misleading, so I am taking off half a point for that. But other than that, this is not bad. At all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not even that dry. Because I originally thought I was going to dock a point there, but no, you know, it really isn't that bad. So I can't complain too much. So I think I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7.5 out of 10, which is a much higher rating than I was expecting. I, I was expecting this was going to be a shit show, not going to lie. Not going to lie. Um, I'm very pleasantly surprised with it and pleased, so 
I would recommend it. Like, I mean, if you're down with it being a very orangey red and not coral, you know, by all means, buy this. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how close or how far the other colors are in their range from what they claim to be, but um, that that's a thing. Granted, the shelf life is very short, being six months after opening, but there's so little product in it that, you know, that may not be the end of the world there. Just saying. And since it's basically a marker, you know, that probably does go a lot further than it sounds like it does. Who knows? So, anyway, that's all I have to say for this. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm actually impressed, so it'll probably make it onto my monthly favorites list. Who knows? Anywho. Um... You guys know the drill. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. If you guys ever had this one or any by this line, uh, what did you guys think? Let me know down below. And let me know what color or colors you had, what your favorites are, which ones you would buy if you decide to go to the website and check out their range. Let me know. As well as anything else you feel like leaving me, make sure you're following my social media accounts or I'll listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.